Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for hanging out with us today. We got a little bit more bolt action for you. So add some Falsherm Jaeger here to our forces. Uh, this again is a really uh, nice box. Uh, not exactly new anymore, but um, still relatively new compared to some of the older kits that are still out there. Um, but um, really good to have these guys basically in all plastic. Uh, I think they used to be basically like a all metal set a little, little ways back. But um, plenty of good stuff here, so obviously we'll take care of them in late war uh, periods here for them. And just as a quick summary of what we get in here, so, um, you know, basically all kinds of weapons. So Warlord's always, like, super generous with uh, loadouts and stuff like that here. So we get the... Um, uh, their special rifle there, the Gewehr, uh, it's Fire and Fit, Sager 42, um, the, uh, plenty of Panzerfaust, Car 98s, uh, you know, if you want MP40s, even some MG42s and stuff, uh, more guns and stick, or, uh, uh, uh stick grenades, really, than, yeah, you could, uh, uh, possibly want, plenty of round bases, some decals and stuff, and then, uh, a nice little, um, instruction sheet too and decal sheets pretty uh, hefty as well so we'll be right back after we get this open for you guys we'll take a look at all the uh, options and get into that sweet plastic uh, before we do that though guys make sure you hit that like and subscribe just helps us continue to grow um, and also if you do want to support the channel a little bit um, and maybe even pick up this box or anything else just uh, follow that link in the description head over to warlord there anything you pick up there will help support the channel a little bit and we appreciate everybody who's been doing that so we'll be right back Alrighty guys, we're back. We got everything open here for you. So we'll start off with some of the smaller things. So like I said, the decal sheet there. Um, so definitely uh, plenty to cover everything in the box here. So, uh, but super, super tiny. So, um, you know, be very careful when you're adding those and cutting those out. Um, a little description here just of different uh, like loadouts and um, you know, a little bit of history thrown in here and there, but also uh, visually gives you guys some ideas on like some paint schemes and stuff for the Falsher Meteor at different stages and theaters of the war. Back side here is um, not so much an assembly guide in that sense, but just really a list of everything that's on the sprue so then you can figure out how you want to put them together. Pretty much everything is more or less interchangeable um, as long as you're staying consistent there. And then um, sort of a newer style. Um, uh, infantry base uh, sprue that Warlord has here. So it's not just uh, the one that has like uh, 10 um, bases on there. So they've kind of chopped that down a little bit and then added some extra like uh, uh, pouches and magazines and other stuff um, on the, the frame here. So um, anyway, so we have that. And then into the plastic here. So um, again, we had one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five of those. And again, um, six uh, uh, bases per, of course, then. So for the 30 in the box and plenty of, um, again, extra bits here. So just to give you guys a quick tour through that, of course, the base is nothing special to look at there. But um, like I said, the various uh, pouches and stuff like that here. So plenty and plenty of accessories, even some guys with uh, those like grenade hands and stuff like that for throwing those. Um, so we're going to get those out of the way. Um, just take another closer look at that real quick for you guys. So yeah, depending on you know how crazy you want to get with all the accessories there, um, plenty of stuff to go around uh, there. And then we get uh, five of the uh, sprues here, so we'll get some of these out of the way and just take a close look at one here. So different poses, let's turn this this way here. So different poses, a little bit of mold line work, you can kind of already see that uh, here. But uh, you got some crouching, you got some static poses, some moving forward. Um, so, you know, a good variety of everything here. Then, again, kind of a tour through the various arms and weapons here. So, again, we got their special assault rifle, MP40s, uh, Car 98s, all kinds of backpacks and um, stowage and other stuff that they would have. Uh, Panzer Faust, of course, can't have too many of those. It's a great way to um, just get these off of like a box set um, as opposed to like buying any like extra special teams or anything like that there. But again, um, plenty of their unique assault rifles. Um, yeah, MG42 there. Um, some loose Panzer Faust and stuff too. So really cool stuff here. Then we'll flip this over in a second for you guys. Looks like ooh, another MG42 on there. Uh, oh, that's one that's, uh, I think, just being carried. Um, not necessarily, like, 
uh, shooting post there, so that's cool. Ammo belt. All right, and let's flip this over and get another look at it here. So, again, plenty of uh, heads, so you can really customize however you want there. Um, so, especially with five of these sprues, you're going to have uh, a whole heck of a lot more than you're going to end up using. So, but yeah, get a good look at those various weapons there. Ammo box. And if I'm not mistaken, these just count as like assault rifles, um, just like the uh, Sturmgewehrs, uh, as far as the rules go. Um, it's been a while since we looked at the Fallschirmjägers specifically, though, but we'll check that out before we get into the build, of course. like that he's basically just kind of on this arm here for the Panzerfaust, just, um, you know, holding up against the old shoulder there. And that's pretty cool. And again, all kinds of packs and stuff, uh, so just depending on how uh loaded out you really want to make these guys look um you got plenty of options there your binoculars for like an officer or anything like that uh if you want like a uh, air observer or whatever for observer um for them you got you got plenty of pieces there to get that taken care of as well so yeah so that's that sprue guys and again you get five of those six of the base ones with some extra bits and pieces there so again a great uh option here for Fallschirmjäger for the germans um and really Pretty easy to build a full army out of this, um, you know, just uh, probably two of these really would certainly take care of just about anything and everything you could possibly want um, at like a normal size game. Um, and then just picking up the usual extras here and there, and depending on what list and stuff you're, you're running, uh, theater selector, all that fun stuff, um, just for, you know, what else you want to accomplish with, uh, the Fallschirmjäger, but, um, certainly another great plastic kit here that, uh, Warlord has put out, um, and, uh, again, still new enough to where, um, it's not, um, the older, uh, or no, no issues here really with it, um, it's maybe some of the older sculpts and stuff like that, or um, some of the older metals and stuff like that that were out there. I think, you know, there's still some that are available um, on their site, but also, you know, if you do uh, prefer other companies or something like that, there's, uh, of course, plenty uh, of options out there for um, historical figures, so you're not necessarily tied down if you like the look of certain things. But um, just for quantity and ease of assembly and stuff like that here you really can't go wrong with one of these but let us know in the comments guys if you play falsher meager at all for bolt action um how you build your army there assuming maybe like a thousand point or so list uh what all do you uh, go for there and what are some of your favorite loadouts and stuff like that and squad sizes so hit us up in the comments guys be happy to hear from you there don't forget that like and subscribe check out that link in the description and then we'll see you in the next one thanks for hanging out